In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make flyers for all sorts of different events, including sporting events, concerts, conferences, and even promotions for restaurants. So let's get started. So I'll actually be showing you how to recreate these four different flyers, starting with this flyer for a restaurant. Next, we'll be working on this one for a concert. Then we're going to recreate this one for a sports event. And finally, we're going to finish with a flyer for a conference. All right, so let's get right to it. So I open up the food flyer that I want to use on Placeit. And on the left-hand side, I have all the different text options. So for each line of text, we can activate it or deactivate it by clicking on this little checkbox here. And you can see that as I click on the checkbox, the text appears and disappears. So we can do that for each line of text. Next, we can just edit the line. So for example, I'm just going to type something random here. And you can see that change uh, showing up in real time, basically. Below that, we can choose the font. So I just click on it. And I can choose a different font and experiment with that. I'm going to go ahead and change it back. To the right of that, we can also choose the color of each line of text. So I just click on it and I can pick from one of these colors. Or, let me go back, I can click on more and I can drag and just be very specific with the color that I want to use. And if I happen to have the hex code for that color, I can also input that here and then click on choose when I want to change the color. You can see that reflected here. I'm going to go ahead and change that back as well. Below that we have the secondary icon here. We can choose a different one and we can change the color as well. Or we can even get rid of it by clicking on no image if we happen to not want an icon. On the right hand side, we can choose the photo that we want to use. We can get rid of it altogether by clicking on no image. And everything just kind of realigns and organizes itself so that your flyer is always going to look great, regardless of what options you choose. Below that, we have the background color and the background graphic picker. All right. So I actually have the text that I want to use on a notepad. So let me go ahead and open that. So I'm just going to copy and paste the name of our restaurant here. Put that here and you can see that change. Next, I'm going to get rid of this line of text because I don't want to use it. And I'm also going to get rid of the icon. I don't want to use it for this one in particular. All right. And next, I'm just going to copy this line of text here and put that here. I'm also going to get rid of this other line but you could use that to put the address, phone number, or any sort of press information or any promotion that you'd like to put. I'm going to move on to the right hand side. I'm going to pick one of the graphics that are already here. But of course, uh, you can get rid of it altogether if you don't want to use one. So let's see here. I'm just going to pick, I'm going to pick this one here, which is actually already selected. And I'm going to move on to the background. I'm going to change it to this one. And I'm going to change the color of the background to a nice dark yellow. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and actually put the text on one line. So the name Evergreen Salads is just on one line. And to do that is very simple. Just in this text box, if you have it all on one line, it's going to show up as one line. And if you want to split it, you just press Enter. So it's on two lines here, and it would also be on two lines. So it's very easy to edit. As you can see, when I select one of these uh, these uh, text boxes, I also get these little buttons. These let me change the the size of the, the text in that box. So for example, it's on small right now, but I can go medium or even large if I want to. But it's also not going to let me do anything crazy or, or, or break the flyer. So for example, in this case, it's not going to let me change it or make it any bigger because that would, that would uh, make the text go outside of the flyer. So that's one of the great things about these templates is that even though they let you make all kinds of different edits and changes, they're also designed so it's very hard to break them and very hard to actually make something ugly. So you don't have to be a designer. You just kind of play around and it's always going to look really nice. All right, great. Next, let's move on to our concert flyer. So let's see here. I also have another bit of text that we can just copy and paste for that. So it's very simple. I'm just going to change the names here for everything. 
So I'm going to change the name of the band. And as with the previous flyer, you can just get rid of any line of text if you don't happen to need it. You don't have to use them all. So that makes these templates super, super versatile. Right, just gonna change the price, the time, and the opening X. So I'll just change all those. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and change the actual colors that we're gonna use. So I wanna use a nice orange, and then I wanna just keep making it lighter as, as we go down, give it a nice kind of a gradient effect. All right, now we're gonna to go to the right-hand side, and I think I'm gonna get rid of the actual icon next to the date. All right, I think that looks better. And for the background, I'm actually gonna upload my own. So we have a bunch of different options that we can use. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use a custom image. Let's see here, I wanna use this one. And once we upload our image, it's gonna give us this little pop-up that lets us drag the image around and also resize it by using the slider down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and resize it so it fills up the, the little square with the marching ants. That just makes sure that uh, our image isn't gonna leave any, any white spaces or any empty spaces. Once I have it where I want it, I just click on Crop. Great, and that's how easy it was to make our concert flyer. Now let's move on to our sports flyer. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste the text that I have prepared. This is gonna be for a 5K run. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all this information to make it a lot easier and so you don't have to see me type everything out. It'd be kind of a boring tutorial. Really, I just want to show you how easy it is to make uh, all kinds of different flyers with the tools. The longest part of this is basically just figuring out how you want to word everything, what you want to put in all the different spots, what colors you want to choose, but then actually building it and putting it together is super quick. So I'm going to move on to the right hand side and I'm going to upload a custom image for the background. But you can also pick one of these that are already uh, preset. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and resize my image so that it fits perfectly within the, the, the bounds of the flyer. I'm going to recenter it here. And then once I'm ready, I just click on crop. So I'm going to change the, the color because it's, as you can see, it's adding a nice blue overlay. I want to go ahead and change that. Let's see what a nice green would look like. That looks much better, so I'll leave it like that. I also want to change the banner color and that's on the right hand side here from black to white and then I'm going to change the the color of the text in the box because now it's all it's white on white and of course we can't see that so I'll change let's see here the first line to black and the second line to green all right and where it has the actual date I want to change that to another nice green color let's see if we can just keep playing around with this until we get something we like. Making it lighter or darker. That's what's great about this, uh, these, uh, these flyer templates. That you can just play around with them to your heart's content until you find one that you think really works. And you don't have to keep going back and forth with a designer or having some third person you know, kind of just interpret your idea. If you like something, you leave it. If you don't, you change it. And you see it in real time. So I'm going to change the lower bar color as well. Let's see here. Change it to a nice dark green. So that was pretty good. Finally, we're gonna work on our conference flyer. So let's jump to that one. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the text that I have prepared. I'm gonna change the date. And this is gonna be for a, a conference on mindfulness. Change this line from conference to something a little more interesting, a little more relevant. This is going to be our speaker. And these are just some details. But you can put anything you want in here. And finally, I'm going to change the location, the time, and the price. All right, cool. Next, I'm going to go ahead and change the background to something a little more interesting. 
All right, I, I like this nice pink and blue, uh, purplish kind of uh, a gradient in the mountains here. I think that works better for us. And I'm also going to change the bottom background color so we can see it's kind of a teal. We're just going to change it to a nice, like a peach, a dark peach color. I want to change the main graphic as well. So let me see here. I can pick from any one of these, or I can get rid of it if I don't want to use one. Let's see, I think we're going to use this last one here. I can change the color as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and to finalize it, I want to edit some of the colors here so they fit a little better. Let's see here. Maybe change it to white. That looks pretty good. And this green is not working, so let's just change it to a nice peach. So that's how easy it is to make flyers for all kinds of different events using Placeit's flyer templates. You can make them for sporting events, for concerts, for promotions, for anything you can possibly imagine that could have a flyer, there's a flyer template for you on Placeit. So let me show you how you actually get to them on the website. To get to the templates, you go to placeit.net, and on the top left-hand side of the menu bar where it says Design Templates, you just slide down to where it says Online Flyer Maker, and as you can see, right now we have a ton of different flyers for all kinds of events and all kinds of promotional uses. And we're constantly adding more, so be sure to check those out, and I'm sure you're going to find one that's perfect for you. But if not, go ahead and send us a quick email. We're always looking for suggestions from our customers for new additions. So that's how easy it is to use Placeit's flyer templates to make flyers for all your events, your grand openings, your promotions, your bands, your conferences, Anything that you can imagine, there's a flyer for you. So there's really no reason not to make your event, not to have your promotion look amazing.